All right, can you tell us a little bit about your products? Yes, uh, IMRU Products is a company that was started because uh, I did a search to find high quality pride products. And uh, in my search, I was unable to find anything, so I uh, came up with the idea to start a product line of my own. Uh, sales are doing pretty good. Um, I can't complain. <laughs>Tell me a little bit about uh, the Orlando Gay Chorus. Yeah, the Orlando Gay Chorus was founded in 1990. Um, we're celebrating our 16th anniversary and we just completed our second CD, Everything Possible. It's right behind me here on the camera. Now what's on that CD? It's songs all from uh, 2000 to 2005 uh, when Terry Thomas was our uh, artistic director. And so all different types of things from Bridge Over Troubled Waters to an Aaron Copeland piece, all different types of music. Now, how does somebody become a part of like a city gay chorus like Orlando? How, how do you uh, how do you audition? Yeah, we are we're an audition course, but it, it's actually um, quite a simple audition process. So, a lot of people will go to our website orlandogaychorus.org, and it has information on where we rehearse, and they can go ahead and just. Uh, come to the beginning rehearsals and there's a short one, it's usually about scales and stuff like that. Our new artistic director this year, Dr. James Bass, is very nice to work with and very easy and helps you to place you so that we know what voice you actually sing in so we get you in the right fly, place. Now is it just gay, is it uh, gay men's or men and women? It's actually men and women. We have um, uh, straight women in our chorus as well too. Um, we sing TTBB music so it's more for male voices but we love having the women in there. They're a wonderful addition to our chorus. Now, what do you guys do? Do you go, uh, what's the venue? We perform at um, Annie Russell Theater at Rollins College in Winter Park, Florida, or we perform over at the Shakespeare Center in uh, Lock Haven Park in downtown Orlando. Now, anybody from out of the area, do you guys have a website they can check out? Yeah, they can go to Orlando Gay Chorus, all one word, dot O-R-G.
when we were actually asked to do um, something for with, together with Gay Days and for Gay Days, um, until that time I kind of like did just something creatively um, for weddings and events and um, I decided to, you know, branch out when they asked me and they heard about me. So we started Eamon Voss at that time actually for the gay community. So what motivated you to do this and how long have you been in this industry? Um, I've been doing events about 10 years um, and I started weddings about five years just as a hobby. Um, and then when Chris and Tommy from Gay Days heard that I did that um, and I wanted to get a little bit more of experience and I wanted to do more for our community actually, for the gay community, um, that's what really got me into it and got me working on it more. Now how popular is it uh, for the gay community with wedding ceremonies? Um, I think it's on the rise. I mean it's like, um, it's hard to say. I think until there's really, at least in Florida, um, as long as we really have like a legal background to it, um, I think a lot of couples do it, but they do it more really for them and on a smaller scale and they don't go all out and plan. Um, I have a lot of couples this year um, that I'm doing ceremonies for, uh, more than last year. Now what's the majority, uh, boys or girls? Actually this year it's split in half, um, but I've done more uh, girls ceremonies actually. Now what has been the age range also? Is, uh, is it more younger or is it a wide variety? Um, I think it's a wide variety. I think it's like, it depends when the couples met. Usually the couples that I'm working with, they've been together for a long time. You know, like that's 10, 12, 13 years that they've been together. So, um, so you know, the age range is, it depends how early they met each other.